Palestinian director of the Bamakrian in Palestine. Uh, I live in Palestine right now. I live in Ramallah. I came from the Holy Land to share you my love, to share you my faith, to share you my peace. I started working with the Abrahamic reunion since 11 years, since my childhood was affected by the difficult situation in Palestine. It was hard for me to live in this conflict, to see people killed, to see children crying. At the first day of the second intifada, I decided to work for peace. I decided to work for, for humanity. I decided to make change to walk for the right path. We will walk for unity. We will, we will keep bringing people together because this is our work. In Palestine, in Israel, we are, one, we are one land. We are one hand. We work together for achieving this goal since many years. And we will keep it because we believe in you. We believe in everyone. We believe in dignity, in humanity, in peace, in faith. We deserve it. Our kids deserve it. Our women, our men, all of us, we deserve this freedom. We deserve to live in peace. We will reach this point. Thank you, everyone. May God bless you. Thanks. Thanks, Sheikh. My name is Dvir. I live in a small town in the Negev Desert. Um, in the really, the really complicated and crazy situation we're having here, I have the responsibility, we have actually, that the interpersonal connections around us uh, will be accurate and correct. And we have a responsibility that the connections between the religions around us will be fruitful and beautiful as much as we can. And actually, that's, that's why I joined the Abrahamic Reunion. This organization see every Muslim, Jew, Christian, Jews, actually every person living in the Holy Land as sharing the great opportunities and the great responsibilities for our common space and our common love. And in recent years, I have been coordinating community projects that connect Jews and Bedouins, believing that the only, only way in, uh, uh, that we can build coexistence in, is in practices like that. And, uh, and I hope that, uh, projects such as that will be deeper and wider and uh, will break more and more, more uh, barriers around uh, in, in our holy land. Thank you. I'm Hanan Halabi, a 19 years old Jewish girl from Israel. Since I was a child, I've been educated that peace is a way of living. And in order to make peace, first we should believe in it. And once we do, it will be much easier for us to spread it. Others may, might see me as an extremely optimistic person. Well, I'm glad to inform you that I'm indeed positive. I do believe in the power of love. The other is me. It's my motto in life. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. The diversity among us is what made our world so colorful and special. We were born unique and different, so we can prove that we meant to live in peace, love, and freedom. Peace meant to be everywhere we go. For instance, I have friends from different religions, backgrounds, and environments. Yet we adore the differences between us because an artist, an artist needs all the colors to create a masterpiece. During the last year, I have been leading a group of teenagers teenager lead, leaders from my village. With this uh, special group, we work a lot about accepting the other. They met different groups from different religion and they became such a good friend. To see these connections makes me feel very happy and thankful. Remember, with love, we can do whatever we want.
thank you God that you send me people like the peacemakers, you, because I feel that together we can make the world a better place to live in. Thank you all. come from an Armenian, uh, Egyptian, Palestinian, Christian, Arab uh, family. And um, I grew up with uh, facing a lot of uh, oppression, as many Palestinians do, unfortunately, by the Israeli occupation. Uh, so yeah, I uh, usually say in other places how I hated uh, being here. My dream was always to leave. And of course, I hated uh, the Israeli people as a result of uh, abuse. However, I, uh, as I studied, I was doing my first degree, I had a spiritual experience with God, and God transformed my heart and my life. And uh, I started feeling love and forgiveness for whoever hurt me in my life or whoever may hurt me, whether the future or in the past. Uh, or hurt others as well. But uh, yeah, as my responsibility to forgive those who hurt me, I can't forgive others for others. It's uh, the responsibility of others to do it. So since that transformative experience with God and uh, also Jesus Christ uh, says to love one's enemy, um, all of my heart was about human rights, justice, and thus, ultimately peace. I don't believe in peace that comes through just connection or relationship, although that's vital at times. But peace needs to be just and based on human rights and equality between those who combine the two sides, Palestinians and Israelis. The Abrahamic reunion is also another step of beauty, a bridge, bringing people together from all over background, all different backgrounds who are all even open to hear me saying those harsh realities uh, and still uh, open to, okay, yes, there is oppression, there's occupation or there's abuses, but let's together dream of stopping these things and, um, and finding a way towards true peace. <laughs> offer my love and my blessings and certainly the support of the Abrahamic reunion to you in whatever you need to make peace real because you're the ones who are going to make peace real and as you become peaceful within yourself and as you really love yourself and other people and love nature and love the gifts that we've been given I have no doubt that you will create a beautiful world of beautiful people like you are. Thank you and bless you. Hi everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Shahid Baghdadi. I am 19 years old and I was born in Jerusalem in the Holy Land and we moved with my family to Nazareth after we experienced um, a difficult life when we had att uh, attacked by uh, the radicals. I always believe that I should ma make peace even on my small world, like school. So uh, I've uh, always been looking for a way to protect what I believe in without a fight and this is what I found in uh, this organization, Abraham Reunion. Uh, we, we all cry when we see a kids get killed before we know if they are uh, Jewish, Jewish or uh, Christians or Muslims. We cry because they are just a kids. And this is the point. Before everything we believe in, we are a human being. And we must talk about this word a lot and a lot and a lot. And uh, there I saw the, the 
the differences between us, but I also saw the similarities. And these differences doesn't make us enemies. Uh, I learned from Abraham Kuyonion uh, many things, and uh, I still learned. Um, in the end, I wish to this world a future that expects uh, the existence of differences. Thank you. Salam Manasa. I uh, was born in uh, Nazareth for um, the third generation of peacemakers. Um, uh, I remember when my father telling us the stories when he began just a few people in the Holy Land and today we are hundreds, even thousands actually. Uh, I want to thank you again because you are supporting us. You give us this platform to speak. This is what we're trying to do in, in the Holy Land, to give people platform to speak free to speak from hearts to speak with without borders to speak anything they want from their hearts because when we speak we realize that is a huge space between all these nations all this uh, uh, people they live in, in in the same country but they have a huge space between them we trying to build these bridges between them to understand each other. With this program we're creating in the Holy Land, we can achieve more peace. Peace is possible. Always peace is possible. Thank you. Thank you. Much love and peace be with you. through their taste they through, talk through their feelings they talk through their love and they open the close eyes there's no blindness there is a sun shining upon all of us our platform is love connect create understand this is the essence of the human being right peace Love and peace is possible. Justice. Justice. Hope and uh, peace. Believe in peace. Oh. A sense of purpose and meaning. Love and more love. Understand. Connect. See. Hear and love. All of these elements will bring for us peace, hope, connection. And I, I think this is our path. This is our, our way.